thanks for watching my channel. Whenever I was registering for my baby, I was a first time mom and I wasn't really sure what all I would need. I came across baby washcloths and the first thing I thought was, is this something I really need or can I just, you know, use a regular washcloth? Well, I went ahead and got them and I'm really glad that I did because now I love them and I use them for all sorts of things. So today I'm going to show you 10 unique uses for your baby washcloths. Number one, general cleaning. These small and soft washcloths are great for cleaning more delicate things. You can clean all sorts of things like small glasses that are harder to clean with a regular rag, cleaning your nice jewelry, or using them to remove makeup or oil from your skin. Number two, cleaning your pump supplies. This is one of the first things I used them for when I began pumping. I like to clean my stuff by hand and these allowed me to get into the smaller nooks and crannies to get my pump supply squeaky clean. Number three, breast milk wipes. When I first began my breastfeeding journey, it was very difficult and I was really sore. I started using these cloths to wipe myself at each pumping session because they are so much softer than your typical rag. They are great for cleaning drips off your pump supplies too. Number four, instant breast pads. Maybe you're at the office and you're just fresh out of nursing pads. You can actually use baby washcloths by simply folding them and tucking them in your bra. Or you can just use these because they are a much cheaper alternative. You can fold them several different ways to suit your individual needs. Maybe you need a little more padding. Try folding all the corners in to make a thicker pad. You can fold them in a triangle shape to mimic the heart-shaped breast pads. You can also fold the center down for more padding in the middle. And if you're needing more protection at night, you can always double up. Number five, quick panty liner. You can fold your baby washcloth to mimic a panty liner if you forget to pack one. It's much more comfortable than using toilet paper, at least until you can get to where you need to go. A lot of women are beginning to use cloth pads to cut waste and save money anyway. Number six, cloth wipes. This is one of the main uses I get out of my baby washcloths. I actually prefer using baby wash rags over my fancy fleece cloth wipes from Etsy. Because they are thinner than fleece, I find it easier to wipe and clean my baby. They are also a lot more cost effective, and to me, I find they do a better job at cleaning than disposables did. You can also use them in place of boogie wipes or disinfectant wipes. You can pre-moisten them with a cleaning solution and keep them in a wet bag or a wipes container. Or you can also store the solution in a small bottle or a spray bottle. I prefer storing them in a spray bottle and using the wipes as I need them. You can use them to wipe down changing stations, toys, passies, and more. Then just toss them in your wet bag until you can launder them. Number seven, adult cloth. Just like using baby washcloths to wipe your baby, you can also use it for yourself. Some people choose to use adult cloth only for pee and have toilet paper as the other option. Others choose to only use adult cloth. Let's face it, toilet paper is extremely pricey and it's pretty much the equivalent of flushing money down the drain. You can also use a cleaning solution with your cloth and feel a lot fresher. You can keep a wet bag close by or a dedicated trash bin with a small reusable liner and just launder them with your cloth diapers on laundry day. If you don't cloth diaper, you'll just want to wash them in hot water and use a little bleach every once in a while. I think baby washcloths are perfect for adult cloth because they are so small, soft, and absorbent and they are way cheaper than purchasing actual cloth toilet paper or adult cloth. Number eight, napkins. Baby washcloths are almost the same size as a regular napkin, but just like cloth wipes, they make for easier cleanup and are more absorbent. You can save some money by extending the use of these when your baby gets older. You can keep them in a cute little basket on your table or keep them in a drawer out of the way. You can also keep a few of these in your car and use them for messes on the go. Just throw them in a wet bag that includes a dry pocket in the front and keep the clean ones in the dry pocket and throw the dirty ones in the waterproof pocket. You can keep a bottle or spray bottle filled with water. If one of your kids spills pop or something sticky, you can wet your cloth napkin and get it up a lot easier. You can store them in your centerpiece console or your glove compartment. Number nine, oral treatments. Another lesser known use of washcloths is using them in place of your standard teether. Some plastic teethers can leach harmful chemicals into your baby. So you can turn your little washcloth into a simple and a safe teether by rolling it up and freezing it. You can roll it up however you'd like and secure it with a little clear rubber band. 
You can take the rubber band off once it's frozen if you'd like. Make as many as you want at a time and store in a little tub. Mix them with some water and put into the freezer. You can also run warm water on your rag and do an occasional gum cleaning. My baby obviously loves this. And last but not least, number 10, diaper cake gifts. This is probably the most fun way to use baby washcloths. And you can make all sorts of little things to add a little pizzazz to your diaper cakes. These also make great conversation pieces and decorations for baby showers. Here I have a little bird, a flower, and a piece of candy. I've seen people make all sorts of things like roses, bunnies, and more. I will do another video tutorial on how to make more of these items later. Well that's it for today. I will add a tutorial on how to make this cute little flower on my website in the link below if you want to check that out. And you can always find more tips and tricks at clothdiapereasy.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want more information on baby, mama, and cloth diapering stuff. Have a great day.